Hi, welcome to Boardshop, specifically boardshop.co.uk. Uh, surfboard review time, and today we're looking at an absolute cracker, the Mark Phipps Yo. Um, the Mark Phipps brand is relatively new to us. We've, we've known about his boards for years, um, and we finally got our backsides in gear to get some in stock. Um, the Yo and the One Bad Egg are his two best known models. Um, <coughs> they overlap a bit, but the Yo has some very special um, features which make it a brilliant, kind of mid-lengthy, but kind of bigger short board um, with bags of performance. Bags of paddle power, wave catching ability, and it will go in waves from thigh high to well overhead. Uh, we have a couple of customers uh, in Indo right now. Um, one of the lances surfing this board and the feedback is phenomenal, uh, even if conditions here haven't been quite brilliant for him. So let's have a little look at the board. Um, this is a 6.6, uh, 38 litres. You can see plenty of volume running through the middle of the board, into the tail and up to the nose, a little beak on the nose to smuggle a little bit more volume in there for paddling without compromising performance. Um, the wide point, <coughs> as you can see, is fairly far, far, fairly far forward. Say that after a couple of drinks. Um, and the nose rocker kicks in a little bit late. There's enough rocker there to stop the board digging in on steeper drops, but not so much that you lose all paddle power. In the tail, a um, little bit more uh, lift there to keep it loose and manoeuvrable and to overcome that extra bit of volume under your back foot. Um, and that nice rounded pin gives you <coughs> plenty of hold um, when conditions are a bit bigger. The rail line's pretty straight, so it's quite drivey. Uh, all in all, it's a, the package of a board that works in a wide variety of conditions. And with that volume through the middle and that big sweet spot, it's forgiving. If you don't get your feet in the right place straight away, um, or you need a little bit longer to get to your feet than if you're surfing a, a little short board, then the Yo is a perfect option for you. Um, <coughs> one of the boys here has been surfing his uh, the last few weeks, and it's quite annoying that he's catching so many waves and getting such long rides. Uh, we've banned him to a peak further up the beach now because it's not fair on all of us labouring away on shorter boards. So um, if you're looking for that option, slightly bigger, slightly more user-friendly um, short board type style board with a bit of performance but extra paddle power. Um, if you're cracking on a bit um, or you don't get in the water as much as you'd like to, then something like this, uh, the Phipps Yo, is a brilliant option. Get over the fact that you're not going to be world champion and you shouldn't be riding board with 28 litres and get real and get on something like this and your surfing will be transformed. You will have fun immediately and the stoke will return. Um, you can obviously customise uh, the Yo, we can order them in, they take about three or four weeks. Change your fin system, dimensions, whatever, but the stock dimensions are pretty good uh, and they work. And with that five fin setup, you can surf it as a quad for a bit more squirt or a bit more go when it's weak, or a thruster for a bit more stability and drive. It really does work well with both. Um, I think I'll have to get one. Um, age is creeping up on me, the paddle power is starting to ebb away and something like this I think is just a brilliant all-rounder for home and abroad for such a wide variety of waves that it's almost rude not to get one. Um, as always, they're available on 0% Finance, you can trade in an old board against it, as I said you can customise them, all the details are on the website and if you need any more information um, just give us a shout, drop us a line. But there it is, the Mark Phipps Yo, a sensible choice for a surfboard.